The baby encountered a giant dog on the street, but what he did next was admirable. This is a story about a tiny girl and two very big dogs. Dogs are often used for protection or hunting, but I've seen them proven to be just as good companions for children. Studies show that there is no condition in which a dog or cat, for example, has the same attachment to a child as a human being does. Seeing your furry and human babies together is a treat. The friendship I've seen between our son, Wally, and our dog, Dottie, is one of the highlights of every day. Since Wally has gotten a little older and very active, they've become inseparable. They play ball together, sort of dance together, play in the sprinklers together, and Dottie even joins us for our nighttime routine before Wally goes to bed, watching Wally's love for his big fur sitter. Dottie is so heartwarming and hilarious at times. He hugs her, and when she's scared of the storms, he feeds her more of his dinner than he feeds himself. He giggles uncontrollably when he braves her sloppy kisses, and his first word was dot dot. Raising your baby with a pet is worth it just for the most adorable photos alone. But studies have shown there are many benefits that can positively affect your child's physical, emotional, and social well-being. Despite their sometimes fearsome appearance, larger or even giant dog breeds can make especially good family friends, loving and protecting your children as their own. And as this list illustrates, they look absolutely adorable. Not all big dogs are good for families. Guard dogs or hers can be anxious or overprotective around kids. But some small breeds are also unsuitable around children because of their tendency towards nipping and aggression. The benefits of raising children with a pet are numerous. They teach responsibility, compassion, and confidence, and they'll protect your kids and keep them. Ruby Stowe is only two years old but she handles her two huge Burmese mountain dogs like a pro. The pups, Biggie and Wooster, have grown up with a child and love playing together as a family. These dogs are really gentle, kind, patient, really good family dogs. Ruby's dad, Craig Stowe, told a BC News, we taught Ruby how to properly pet them and whatnot. She learned to walk by pulling herself up on Biggie and he's so patient with it. Ruby as a kid would lay on Biggie and he would let her. The Stowe's family first baby was Lucy, who has been nicknamed Wooster over the years and is now their furry, enormous four-year-old. Then came Ruby, their first non-four-legged baby, who's now two and a half years old and loves playing with their dogs. She's like one of them. Then came the family's next Bernie's mountain dog, Biggie because they loved the breed so much. Lastly came Sonny, their nine-month-old son, who is still learning the ropes with the pups around the household. My wife was like, you're crazy. I can't have a baby and another dog at the same time, Craig recalled, but when Ruby was five months old, she, his wife, found Biggie, and he was eight months, and we adopted him from a breeder. The fun-filled family of six loves taking adorable adventures throughout Mill Valley, California, and beyond. We are often hiking. We have a lot of awesome trails and beaches, Craig said of their out. She's an animal lover and she can go up the trails and be with the dogs and everything. She's learned how to properly hold the leash that if one of them tries to chase something, she can just let go. Ruby is definitely the dog whisperer. Her proud dad added, she knows almost every dog in the dog park and she'll be running around with them. It's really cute and everybody knows Ruby. As for their newfound fame on Instagram with more than 15,000 followers, Craig said he and his wife simply try to capture all these little funny things. Nothing is scripted and the stuff we don't capture is even crazier. He added, we're totally blessed to have this much love. Our dogs are so spoiled. It's insane. There is endless tales that you can never felt bored about babies and dogs. 
It's not random that dogs are considered great companions in a child's life. Therefore, your children should all experience the love of a pet to grow and have great friends in the family. Meet Mammy, a one-year-old Japanese girl and her friend Riku, a giant poodle. They're the cutest besties you've ever. Their pure friendship conquers worlds as 138,000 of dazzled Instagram followers represent the living proof of defeat by the overload of cuteness. Next grandmother is the one who makes sure that these precious moments of her granddaughters stay documented. Riku is the name of the most adorable giant poodle you'll ever see, and the companion for life for littles, Miss Sunshine. Together with Gaku and Ku, the other two big poodles, and perfectly matched sidekicks. They all enjoy sleeping, reading, and playing on the trampoline. These big poodles can weigh more than 60 pounds or 27 kilograms, and they're also known as royal poodles. The love they grow towards each other surely is royal and would even melt away hearts of White Walker. Riku trying to find something to read to Mammy before sleep time. Mammy is a one-year-old Japanese girl with a giant poodle for bath. Riku is the name of her companion, and they're rarely apart. I don't think Black Poodle feels safe anymore. Feeding a dog, picking up after it, and all the other responsibilities that come with owning a family pet is a lot of work. However, as soon as they're old enough, kids usually want to be a part of caring for the animals and the family. Nearly every dog loves to go on a walk so they can chase after squirrels, meet new friends, and just explore the world outside they. This intelligent little child is ready to take their strong-looking bulldog for a walk. It can feel quite like an accomplishment for a child when they take their four-legged pal for their much-needed stroll outside. Hopefully, the dog won't end up taking her for a walk. Cat turns to be the cuddliest creatures, but some will make an exception for their favorite humans. This little girl and her cat show that pets are an integral part of family life. For a child, there's often nothing better than sharing a cuddly moment with their favorite four-legged friend. Pets bring an uncomplicated innocence and affection that can stay with us for a lifetime. They can even improve our health. Studies have shown that having pets can help children avoid asthma as they grow older and reduce anxiety. This furry, gentle giant lets this little friend take a nap right on his back. No blanket needed when she has her four-legged protector right next to her. In fact, it's often the biggest dogs in the family who are the most affectionate and protective of the smallest of family members. Big, small, or somewhere in between. There's no denying that dogs are simply the. After all, babies are closer in size and at home more often, which can create a more natural bond. The family dog in this picture looks like he's hanging out in his favorite place on earth, just being with his little human. This baby and his cuddly pug look like they'll be close for years to come. This always melts our heart. Mimi Cry is a big part of the family, pet, and child relationship. The same curiosity and playfulness that follows children also follow animals. Maybe that's why they often get along so well and why there's so much affection between them. Having a pet not only teaches kids responsibility and how to care for another life, but pets also show them how to give and receive love. Unconditioned. In fact, the unconditional love a child experiences from their pets can create some of the most meaningful childhood memories that can carry into adulthood. There's no doubt that pets make a valuable impact on our lives. Big dogs can make the best family pets and are sometimes a perfect resting place for kids. Well, in this toddler leaned back into her big furry best friend she knew he wouldn't mind supporting. Dogs can sometimes be more patient with kids and willing to let them do things that they may not let other people do. This little girl knows that no matter what, she'll always have someone to lean on. Happy friendships always come between dog and babies. 
Being a new parent can be extremely tiring, but new father Nate Anderson found his baby boy to be the endless source of creative inspiration. His webcomic series, Boy and Dog, chronicles the hilarious adventures of his son Rowan and their family dog. Murphy Anderson told Port Bandit the idea for the cute comics came after the birth of his son last year. My life was changed by this wiggly, squishy boy that filled my home with laughter and poop. The family pets didn't know what to think of him at first, but my golden retriever Murphy decided that he was pretty cool. He said Rowan loves his animal friends and would squeal with delight whenever Murphy was nearby. I started to draw the funny comics to show what I imagined in my head was transpiring between these unlikely best friends. His boy and dog cartoon drawings include conversations hijinks and even some crude jokes between dog and baby. Everything is new for the boy, and I imagine that it was the dog's duty to teach him all about the world from a dog's point of view," explained Anderson. This is not the artist's first time trying his hand at webcomic Anderson's first series was called Quack Boys and featured him and his college roommates having wacky adventures but eventually died off when they moved on a college dropout after freshman year. He said he is largely self-taught. I was already working as a professional illustrator designer at the time, and I feel that I earned more working in the industry than I ever did in school with very uninspiring instructors. While his comics are quite eccentric, Anderson admitted he's not very good at talking to people and uses his talent to communicate. My comics give me the ability to tell funny stories and make people laugh with silly gags. I like making people happy. I like making people. Unfortunately, I'm a little socially awkward, so this is a better platform for my jokes. Inspired by artist Glenn Keane, he said he loves traditional hand-drawn animation. I'm a huge Disney nerd, and when I get into a slump, Watching one of the movies he worked on gets me drawing again. Disney's Tarzan has been a huge influence on my desire to animate. As for his own work, he creates each comic entirely on Photoshop from rough layout, sketching, line work, coloring, and dialogue. For Anderson, his overall goal with these cute drawings is to spread some laughter and joy to his viewers. I know I'm not the only one who deals with baby problems and dog problems, so if I can get people to relate to my goofy drawings and have a chuckle, then I'll consider myself successful. New comic strips for Dog and Baby are released every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday on his website. Scroll down for some cute stories from this series. Never forget to upvote your favorite FAS pets. They teach children valuable socialization skills, such as showing affection, taking turns, and more as they play with other kids. Thank you for watching this video. If you like, share it in social networks. We'll be back to you as soon as possible.